Greetings, my esteemed Laddingtons. Welcome to the greatest Q&A. Now you might wonder why do I not have a shirt on and usually it would be so that I could flex and pose and behave in that sort of way but now in all honesty it's because it's simply too hot to have a shirt on so you might think it's so I will flex my physique but actually not not this time usually it would be exactly for that reason I would be without a shirt but now it's um, yeah it's too hot simply now let's get on to the questions at hand. We have the first one from Visigotorum. How did you get into paganism and which are your ways to practice it? Cheers. So basically I got into the more metaphysical side of things only this year. Now before then I approached paganism in a more, you know, as a way for me to express a biocultural identity. So I had you know, Hammer of Thor to show this is my allegiance in terms of bioculture and tribe. Some guys, they do it with the tattoos, which is also, a, you know, good, it can be a good way uh, to, you know, show where your um, tribal allegiances lie. Um, that is how I approached it before. Now, of course, I do approach it in, in a bit different way, where I have as you probably have seen, if you follow me on Telegram and if you have read my book reviews, I have approached it. I've begun to approach it in uh, a slightly different manner. Now, that being said, what makes you a pagan is technically speaking, if you sacrifice. So if you do sacrifice, I have done it this year. I've done it um, earlier years as well. And I simply, you know, pour a libation of mead. And, you know, you can say a little prayer or uh, something like that. So that is what technically makes you a pagan. If you do sacrifice, if you don't, you're not a pagan. If you do, you are a pagan. And you don't need to sacrifice mead. You can pour a libation of wine or you can offer some incense um, at your altar. It can be done in many different ways, but that is at least how you practice paganism and of course I'm giving a very brief and general answer here. There are those who have been practicing pagans for a lot longer than I have and um, you know who can give you a better answer but that is the starting point and I would also very much recommend you to read as much as possible about how our ancestors approached the, um, the divine. So I wrote a review of Mircea Eliade's the Myth of the Eternal Return. It's a good book. You can start with that. Then, of course, the other books I've reviewed uh, are very insightful, especially the books by Stephen E. Flowers as it pertains to Germanic and overall Indo-European spirituality. So, hopefully, that was uh, somewhat informative. Now, second question is regarding journalism and investigative journalism and whether it's a good way to contribute to the cause. And I would say, yes, it absolutely is. It's a great way to contribute to the cause. And this is something we need more of. And I am quite happy to say that we do have in Sweden a quite well-developed alternative media. Of course, since the mainstream media in Sweden has been so left-wing for so long, the um, there has been a great demand for you know, actual reporting and now the supply and demand have met as uh, they usually do. So I would say that journalism is an honorable profession. And now you might think uh, this is strange since I usually bash journalists, but I do it because it is an honorable profession. But many journalists, they are simply acting as mercenaries for the regime. So instead of, you know, putting the pressure on the uh, the politicians the the regime they are you know putting the heat on normal people who are just um, wondering what is going on most journalists they have taken a very honorable profession and made it into basically mercenary work for the regime but that being said if you are a a journalist with integrity i salute you i have great respect for the profession of journalism so if you are a good person, then definitely do pursue that uh, career path. And yeah, it takes a lot of courage to expose this, um, many of these corrupt politicians. So anyway, I had a few more questions, but I will actually save those for a coming podcast because I want to go 
more in depth regarding those questions. And lastly, because I am about to perish here in the heat, so I will try to seek out some sort of lake as soon as possible before perishing. So anyway, thank you for watching. As always, do check out all the links in the description box below. Do read Dauntless and uh, I will see you in the next video. XXO.